Hi guys, it's Shelly here. Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me today. Today's video will be a colour along in The Mythographic Paradise by Fabiana Atanasio and it's going to be the page with the dolphins. If you watch my channel, you will have seen this page um, recently, maybe a couple of months ago, in a How I Colour video on covering up the hidden objects. And I did show how I did it with using Winsor & Newton white ink. And I also showed or demonstrated um, the using pencils over the top of the white ink uh, very briefly. So you will notice that yes, the hidden objects are all covered up and that there is one little mountain in the background that's already been colored just to show how the pencils worked on that particular video. And I did mention that I will hopefully come back to this page as a color along because many people have asked for a color along in a mythographic book. So finally, I'm getting around to it. Um, it's taken me a couple of months, but um, yeah, I just, as I've mentioned before, I color with my mood and I don't think I was in the mood to pick up this page again, but this month I've been really enjoying this page. So as always, I use my Faber-Castell Albrecht Dura pencils. I will be using them activated with water and as well as dry. And I do use um, Tombow Jewel brush pens for basing certain elements as well. And then at the end, I think I use a few paint pens, definitely a white paint pen, a lot of white paint pen, and then just a few, a couple of other paint pens to finish off the page. Um, very little glitter gel pens. And um, yeah, I'll be using Winsor & Newton white ink for a little bit of sprinkling, um, mainly on the bottom part of the page where I was attempting to make the water look like it's underwater. Now, I always enjoy a mythographic page. I don't know what it is. I think it's the quality of the books along with the amazing illustrations that we get in these books. I thoroughly enjoy my coloring in these books, including the New, the uh, older books as well, the ones with the hidden objects. Yes, I prefer not having the hidden objects. I prefer the newer books, um, but I do still tap into my older books. Um, the hidden objects don't stop me from coloring the older books. So I was excited to color this page. And when I looked at the page at, at first, like when I was doing the hidden objects, I thought it was going to be a really simple page. Um, however, when I came around to coloring it this partic this month, I found that it was actually quite a challenge and the main challenge for me was actually figuring out how to do the water because there is very clearly um, certain elements that should be underwater and certain elements that are above the water but it's not very clear with regards to the line art how to differentiate the two, um, the two parts of the water. Now I know none of these mythographics, um, you know, are, are realistic. You can do whatever you want, whatever colors you want. Um, so it doesn't have to be realistic coloring, but I needed to give it a little bit of perspective. I needed to figure out how to create um, the water, the bottom part of the water to look like it's underwater and the top part to look like it's above the water so that the dolphins actually look like they're jumping out of the water. Um, so yeah, it was quite a challenge and you will see that I spend a fair amount of time doing the water part of the page and I do start with the water if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I spent a fair amount of time doing the water part of the page and trying to darken up the bottom half of the water to sort of give that perspective that it's underwater, it's deep into the water. Um, and then I think, um, yeah, at the end of the once I had done all my pencil work, I definitely used paint pens to help me to emphasize the fact that it's underwater by using a white pen paint pen to sort of create little bubbles and then using my Windsor and White uh, Windsor and Newton white ink to do a sprinkling effect as well for the underwater part to sort of give that idea of bubbles underwater and hopefully it has come across I think I sort of can differentiate the two it's not perfect but I I tried my best and I think it works it somewhat works definitely but you guys will be able to tell me better so once you guys see the finished um, page let me know what you think and if I have managed to pull that off because 
yeah when i looked at the page at the beginning before i started putting color to it i was like i have no idea what's going to happen let me just start putting color on into the water and then i'll try and work with it and try and keep going at it until i can sort of differentiate the uh, surface water and the underwater because the water was quite a large element on the page I decided I did not want to do a blue sky and so I decided to go for the pinks and the yellows a little bit of purple sort of to make it look um, like a sunset um, and sort of like tropical I wanted to bring out that tropical feel and I think it worked I think I really like the pink that breaks everything up um, and then yeah I think that was those were the two main elements and then the rest of the page was just about um, you know, trying to fill up the spaces, bring in a little bit of colour to break up all the blue. And um, yeah, I think at that point I used quite a bit of Tombow Jewel brush pen, if I'm not mistaken, for basing the dolphins, the seaweed, the um, other fish underwater, I think. Um, and yeah, I think there's not much else to say about this page. As I usually do, I did go a bit bright with this page, but um, I like the tropical feel of it. I like that it's bright. I think it is a page that should be bright. But um, I think next time I should try and be a little bit less conventional. I think midway through the page, I was thinking that the page looked a little bit, a little bit boring um, because I went very conventional, just blue water, green trees, you know, um, there wasn't anything catchy about the page. So, um, yeah, I was like, I should have tried something different. I should have tr tried something a bit unconventional and just gone crazy with colors. But when I finished off the page, I finished off my pencil work. I went ahead and did all my paint pen work. I think I like how the page has turned out. Now when I look at it, I'm happy that it has that tropical feel to it. And um, yeah, there's so many of the mythographic pages I have to just go crazy with colors um, if I want. So yeah, I'm glad. I, I think I'm happy with how the page has turned out. I hope you guys like the page as well. And for those of you who requested a video on a mythographic page, I hope you enjoy this a particular one. Um, I've kept it quite simple I think and it hopefully will be fun to colour along with if you do decide to and as I always say share it with me on email on Instagram. I love to see your pages. It really does make my day when I see your versions of your pages. So yes definitely share it with me if you decide to colour along or even if you just use a certain elements of it on your page. Um, I would love to see your versions of, a, of the completed page. I think I'll leave you guys to watch the video now in peace because there's not much else to say about this particular page. So uh, hopefully I will be back with you guys again soon. I think it's been a while since I've done a colour along. I am a little bit short of time and the colour alongs do take a little bit longer. So um, I've been finding it a little bit difficult to try and fit it into the schedule. But hopefully I'll be back with you guys again soon with another video. So until then, take care. Thank you for watching. And as always, thank you for all your support. See you in the next one. Bye bye.